Okay, so I found this dialect meme from my friend Amy's blog, her lab journal. Um, anyway, so before I start, I guess I'll give a little dialectal background of myself. Um, right now, I live in part of Indiana that's right next to Illinois, and it's maybe like 20 minutes from Chicago, but um, I grew up actually in Chicago. In one of the suburbs uh, southeast side near Hegwish and um, it was actually called the east side but people make fun of me saying that oh I didn't grow up on the east side the east side's the lake and well it's the southeast side that like goes like just a little bit under the lake and it touches East Chicago Indiana but um yeah so it's near Hegwish um so anyway yeah um I guess I really have a Chicago accent people have told me that and like my whole life I had like no idea what a Chicago accent was until recently when I realized yeah I guess I do have one like my friends will like like from another region notice I guess the way I say my A's my friend Aaron in Texas says I say my A's really weird, like Apple and bathroom I, I don't even know I don't even know what they notice but um then when I was in France I was telling a story and I actually said the word bathroom in that story and this one girl stopped me and was like wait a second where are you from and I was like Chicago and she was like yeah yeah I can tell um now I'm thinking too much about the way I'm saying things. I hope that doesn't ruin this meme. Um, to hear my accent at the strongest, you gotta hear me like talking really aggressively about something that I really care about or, or talking with my parents. Um, but then I guess that's like when most accents shine through. Um, also, my family is Polish, really Polish, so there's some words that like, um, no one in my family really speaks Polish anymore, just my great-grandma is the only person alive that knows actually how to speak it. But there's certain words that came through a generation like, um, those big fluffy down comforters. For the longest time, I knew that only as a pijena, and but for us was dupa and ponytail, I only knew as kika, kika, when I was little. Um, and those like dough, the doughy food with the filling inside that people call pierogies, I call those pierogies, because that's how they're supposed to be pronounced, as pierogi. Um, but yeah, uh, remind me to tell you about the toilet door fence story. It's going to be the most Polack thing you've ever heard. Um, anyway, so on to the meme. I need to say these words. Ant, route, wash, oil, theater, iron, salmon, caramel. Sometimes caramel, mostly caramel. Fire, water, sure, data, ruin, crayon, toilet, New Orleans, or Nouveau Orleans, <laughs> pecan, both. Um, my friend Giffy in Canada pointed out that I add an L to the word both. I don't hear it. I don't know. Both. Both. I guess I say it like both. Both. I don't know. I think I think too much whenever I say that word anymore. Um, Again, probably spitting image, Alabama, lawyer, coupon, mayonnaise, syrup, pajamas, caught. And now answer these questions. What is it called when you throw the toilet paper on a house? That is TPing a house. And what is the bug when you touch it curls into a ball? Roly poly. What is the bubbly carbonated drink called? That's pop. Sometimes I call it soda pop. I don't know where that came from. Soda is not our region. Soda, <laughs> it's not our region. But um, and I said I said it once, and one of my friends like yelled at me and was like, "That's pop. Why did you call it soda? It's pop." And I'm like, "I know it's pop. I don't know why I did that." Um, and all you people in the South, Coke is a specific carbonated beverage. Not all of them. Um, what do you call gym shoes? Ah, I guess I call them gym shoes. Sneakers, maybe. I don't know, mostly gym shoes, I think. I call them. I call them gym shoes. Uh, what do you say to address a group of people? Hey, you guys. You're in France, it's vous. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what do you call the kind of spider that has an oval shaped body and extremely long legs? That's a daddy long legs. What do you call your grandparents? Uh, my grandma that's alive, I call her grandma. Her husband was grandpa. And on my dad's side of the family, they were Nana and Papa. They called her Nana, so it's not a Papa. Uh, what do you call the wheeled contraption in which you carry groceries at the supermarket? There's another word for that? That's a, that's a shopping cart. What do you call that? What do you call it when rain falls while the sun is shining? I call 
poet, the rain falls while the sun is shining. Um, I, don't know, I think they're called sun showers technically though. I don't know. And what is the thing you change the TV channel with? That is the remote, the remote control. And that's everything I was supposed to read for you. And maybe sometime later, for all you foreign friends, I might be asked to do one where you can hear my horrible American accent while I'm speaking French. But I don't think that's really going to interest anyone. So I'm just done now. I'm done talking. Bye!